Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video or slash tutorial and I am going to be showing you all how I pop my nails off. So basically my DIY peel off base coat method. So I do want to say that I am not the creator of this method. I did see it like earlier on into my nail journey. I tried it, I loved it, and I've been using it ever since because it only needs two things and it makes popping your nails off super, super easy and it does not damage your natural nails. So as a content creator, I film a lot of content and pretty much I'm doing my nails almost every single day or every other day. So I don't have time to do a nail set and then soak off the nails or file them off. It would just be a lot more time on my end taking up time that isn't needed like to be taken up because I need that extra time to of course like edit and do other videos and stuff like that so when it comes time to being a content creator and saving time on my end using a peel off base coat is super helpful it is also great for if you are a beginner and want to practice doing nails but practice doing them on yourself so a peel off base coat can be a great way to remove your nails, easy removal, no soaking, no filing, and also no damage at all to your natural nails, which is another great thing about this method. So I am quickly here going to show you just a couple of ways that I like saving my like nails that I've done because I save all of them. Um, I feel if I do them, I don't want to throw them away. It's also great because basically you can turn them into press-ons. So just recently I started a adding the nails into this little like plastic case with some double-sided tape and I love the way this looks. I wish I would have done this for all of the nails that I have ever done because I would have a very huge book or several books of nail cases like this and I just really like this because I can show off my favorite designs or just all of my designs so I think this is really nice. It's also great because if I ever want to throw a nail set on, I can always do that because the way these are removed, I don't have to clip anything off. Like I said, no soaking, no filing. They do just remove and then you can save them to wear another time. Of course, most of these I won't be able to apply with gel like I did to begin with, but applying them with nail glue, creating them almost as if they are a press on. This is the ways that I used to save my nails just in like little glass vases or jars and you can see here I have so many of them. I used to love saving all of my nails even from the beginning of my nail journey so there are nails that in here that go back to like when I first started so that's really cool and you can see that little ghost lava lamp one there. There's a lot of ones in here that I did so long ago, but I just think it's so fun to have these all saved. And personally, I do like sticking them into the um, like little plastic case now better, just because it is a lot easier to look back at them or just see the total nail set. Because when I'm just throwing the nail tips into these jars, they don't stay together they get all mixed up but putting them into the case you can like categorize them or just um, put them as the nail set that nail I just showed you that was like a poly gel nail set that I did a very long time ago but now let's jump in here and actually talk about the peel off base coat like I said this has been a super highly requested video a lot of you guys want to know how I pop off my nails in the end or just what I use so it is only two things, a top coat and a cuticle oil, and you can use any. Um, the cuticle oil that I use, the bottle I really like, but I do just refill it with any cuticle oil that I use. The top coat as well, you can use any top coat, but I do recommend using a top coat that you specifically want to use for your DIY pop-off or peel-off base coat method because the cuticle oil that you're applying to your natural nails and then you go in with your top coat, a little bit of the cuticle oil is going to mix in with the top coat and I just saying that because you don't want to use like your favorite top coat for this method 
and get cuticle oil in it and then when you go to apply your top coat on your finished nail set it can like be a really weird consistency because it can be mixed in with cuticle oil so do keep that in mind like I was saying about the cuticle oil you can use any cuticle oil I just really like this bottle because it has a brush applicator which makes it so easy when I'm brushing it onto my natural nails and just getting ready to apply the peel off base coat so here are my natural nails, and I honestly think I have pretty healthy natural nails. I mean, of course, I do my nails so frequently, so they're not the healthiest natural nails. But with this method, because I don't have to soak off all the time or I'm not filing to damage my natural nails, using this method has really saved my natural nails. So let's jump right in here. I didn't do any nail prep, just started off with clean nails. And then I'm going in with the cuticle oil. Like I said, this brush just makes it so easy, but not that you couldn't use a dropper or a roll-on cuticle oil. Any cuticle oil will work. I just personally love how I can just paint it onto the nails. Once I do have it applied then, I will just take my finger and rub it in. Um, I recommend wearing a glove for this just because that way your hand doesn't soak up the cuticle oil. It more or less stays on your natural nails and you get the oil like on your nail plate. But you just want to apply a generous amount of that and then rub that in. And then before doing anything else, take your top coat and apply a layer of top coat over top of all of your nails. Um, the cuticle oil will kind of separate the top coat, so try your best just to get an even layer on the nail. If you do have any empty spaces, you can do your cure and then go in with another layer of top coat, but I just try my best to get a very even surface of the top coat and then I will cure that for 30 seconds. Like I said, I've been using this method for a very long time and it has always worked for me. Something I will say, if if or when I'm doing acrylic nails, I do apply a couple extra layers of top coat. So I'll apply my cuticle oil, a layer of top coat, cure, and then a couple more layers. Just because I do know that with acrylic, it adheres a little bit better to natural nails, even if you have oils on. So I like to just apply a couple extra layers for easier removal. But when I'm doing gel extensions like I'm doing today, I only have to apply one layer of the top coat and it is super easy to remove the nails and I will be showing that towards the end of the video. So make sure you do stick around to see how easy the nails come off with this DIY peel off base coat. After I have the peel off base coat applied, I am ready just to begin doing my nails. You can use this peel off base coat with acrylic, poly gel, gel extensions, anything that you want to do, even if you want to do a gel overlay on your natural nails. Like I recommended that little tip I gave with the acrylic, you may want to add a few more layers of top coat just because acrylic just adheres better to your nails even if there are oils involved. Not that if you want your nails to last, you wouldn't want to prep them, but I just have noticed that with gel, the, this peel off base coat method works a lot better versus if I'm using acrylic. But today I'm just using the gel extension system from Daily Charm, the medium coffin nail tips along with their step number three extension gel. And I'm applying these just like I would if I were to have prepped my natural nails. Daily Charm also does sell a peel off base coat as well. I personally just like using the cuticle and top coat method, but just another thing, if you want to try out their peel off base coat, I know a lot of other brands do offer peel off base coats as well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and let this play out. You guys know the process, just applying the gel into the nail tip. When I also apply peel off base coat to my natural nails, I don't usually prep the soft gel nail tips just because I feel like it is an unnecessary step because I'm going to be removing them anyways. But you can see I'm just taking that extension gel, applying the nail tip, doing my flash cure, and then once they all are applied, I will do a 30 second cure in my large nail lamp. <laughs>
I had all of the nails applied, I'm doing a little bit of customization. So I'm taking a hand file, I straightened up the free edge. I also took my mini mandrel and just went around the cuticle area to seal in the cuticle and clean up any spillage. And then I will also be taking a buffer and just removing the shine from the surface of the nail uh, the nail tip that way when I go in with my gel polish it will adhere properly and then I will also be taking a dust brush to remove all of the nail dust before I go in with my gel Starting off with my first gel polish shade using the Charm Gel J11, which is a very pretty jelly neutral nude nail bed color. I'm going to be using this color on my middle and my ring finger. I go in with my first coat, apply that, I cure for 30 seconds, and then just to build this color up a little bit more, I will go in with a second coat and cure that for 30 seconds as well. For my index and my pinky, I'm using C28, which is also a charm gel, and this one specifically is a cat eye gel. So I'm going to be using this on both of the index and the pinky, like I said, and I will be doing two coats of this one as well. Before curing for the first and second layer, I will be using a magnet just to bring out the glitters in the gel. I'm not really doing a special design, I just really wanted to bring out the sparkle and really just like enforce the cat eye effect on the nail. So I'm using the cylinder magnet like, I'm, like you're seeing here. And I'm just taking that on the outer edge of the nail, just like around the outside, so on the sides, the free edge, and also around the cuticle. Once I have that um, how I like it, I will do a 30 second cure. I'll come back in with a second coat. Before curing that coat, I'll use the magnet again, cure that, and then I'll do the same exact process on my pinky. I really hope that you guys are enjoying this video. If you guys do have any other video suggestions, please feel free to let me know down in the comments section below. I know this one here with the peel off base coat method has been super popular. And I also want to say if you have any other questions that I may not have answered, please feel free to comment them below. I'm always willing to help you guys out. And of course, I'm making the videos for you guys to watch. So I always want to make sure that I'm creating content that you guys do enjoy. Recently, I have been noticing a few comments saying that you guys aren't receiving notifications for my videos and I find that a little bit odd because I have been seeing my views down a little bit and I don't really know what is going on. I haven't changed anything, so I would really appreciate it if you guys could possibly share the video, give the video a like, click onto my channel, see if you've watched any of the recent uploads. If you haven't watched them, make sure you guys are watching them. It really helps me out a lot when you guys do watch my videos and seeing that you guys aren't getting notifications from a few people commenting and then also seeing that my views are down a little bit I'm not really sure what is going on but I did kind of talk through that even though I said I was gonna let it play out but now I'm coming in and I'm using a foil transfer gel because on the two nude nails I am going to be using a plaid foil so I'm 
going in with the foil transfer gel and I'm applying that to the first nail. I'll do the full cure that is recommended on the back of the bottle. I always forget what it is. It's either 30 or 60 seconds, but I did do that full cure. I cut out my nail foil. This plaid nail foil is from Daily Charm as well. I love it so much. And honestly, it was a little tricky to use, I will say that. Just because the foil wasn't like a um, image over the entire foil, you had to kind of be a little bit careful with it because it was lines and I was trying to make sure everything lined up where I wanted it to and also making sure everything was straight. But the transfer of the actual image, it was like no problem at all. I like pressed it down and almost instantly it was just already starting to lift up because the foil had transferred so well but I did do this on both of the nails just one nail at a time to make things a little bit easier for me something a little bit more to those foil nails I have these gold like stripes or line stickers so I used these just to add a little extra line to that foil and I just cut the sticker to make it fit where I wanted it and just place that down on both of the foil transfer nails I'm now taking my diamond shine top coat and I'm going to be applying this to all of the nails and doing a 30 second cure. my thumbnail I did do the same plaid design I did do that off camera for an Instagram reel and recently I actually started posting those on YouTube as shorts as well so if you don't have Instagram you will now be able to see those because I'm starting to post these shorter videos on YouTube as well since they do have the new shorts but I went in with my cuticle oil applied that to my cuticles to nourish them and of course like I always say top off the nail set and here is the finished look of these nails I love them they are definitely giving fall I feel like I've been doing a lot of Halloween but looking outside and just seeing the leaves they're so beautiful and colorful I wanted to throw in some fall nail sets so I thought this video would just be the perfect opportunity since I was just showing off the peel off base coat method that I use and just doing a simple fall kind of like giving off a cozy vibe nail set I really love this one. I've also been really loving cat eye gels. I try to hop on the Daily Charm lives all the time just seeing all the products and they just look so awesome so it just makes me obsessed with what they're showing off like for example the cat eye gels I've been really in love with those just look at how beautiful they look in the sunlight I was amazed I also really loved the foil I do have to say it was a little bit harder than other foils like I did mention but I feel like overall it looked really nice and I was easily able to get a nice transfer it just was a little bit harder because I had to make sure the lines were straight and placing the foil down where I wanted it just because you couldn't really go back and press in any spots that you missed or you had to be super careful with that 
So generally, I end off the video, but of course I said I wanted to show you guys how easy it was to remove these nails and just look at this. Super easy. I didn't do anything. If you are having troubles, you can always like add a little cuticle oil. You can use a cuticle pusher tool, but really I never have to do that. They come off super, super easy. I also, this was right after I finished the outside shots and the outside pictures of my nails. This is the same day I didn't wear the nails for any amount of time after I was finished and it was really that easy. You can see they all came off in one piece too, no breakage, no damage to my natural nails, no soaking, no filing. And I can save those nails to wear at another time, apply them like press-ons. Of course, I will be saving them just like all of my other nails. But I hope this video was super helpful to you guys. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.